I've only ever been here one time before, which is crazy to me because when I went here, I was like, oh my God, why have I not only been coming here? It is very far from me. I have been in the car for two and a half hours today. I've already put in two miles. This is my fourth stop. And uh, last time I was here, I ran out of time, money, energy, like you name it, it happened. So I've got two hours and 45 minutes and hopefully I don't make the same mistake twice. I have some idea of what I'm in for this time. Oh, I love this squirrel nut dish. That is too freaking cute. 10 bucks, that's super fair, but I'm trying to be super picky. I've barely walked in the door. Okay, immediately there's a few things happening here. Uh, the Holt Howards, I'm going to leave behind. They're pretty close to retail. These Lefton candle holders are pretty spectacular. They do have some pretty bad crazing, um, which is a little hard to tell, maybe from the glass, but the paint looks like it's about to come off in some places. I really like that Italian clown pottery. And the nun with nuns with the choir the nun with the choir boys is fun too, but again retail and I love the Bambi lamp, but I am not gonna mess with that. I've seen it a few times already. I've been here for like two minutes and I'm already turned around. <laughs> Let's see. Commodore is missing its mate. It's kind of common. All right, let's see what's going on with these head vases back here. This one's got a little too much paint loss for me to get behind. This one's only $12. It's a hobbyist one. I kind of want to get it anyway. Uh, I have a feeling I'm going to be pretty stingy now and get crazy later. I remember downstairs as being a pretty wild ride. Love this nun playing baseball, or she's not playing baseball, she's playing the harp. I don't know where I got baseball from. Uh, 1950s, a really good price. I could probably, I could make a few dollars off that, but not enough to justify waiting to get the case open and doing all that. That's a quite spectacular. Oh my God, look at the little bunnies with the chenille. I was gonna go for that pumpkin, how much is that? I think it says 29, I can't really tell. I don't feel like messing with cases yet. This is kind of fun. I've only seen the planter. I've never seen this ashtray. It's got a chip on it though. All right, I'm going downstairs where it gets really confusing. Ah, look at this cute little stuffed tiger. Oh, I love him. How much is this? $4.25. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and get him. He is too cute. Oh my gosh. I think it works too. Does it work? This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. It runs a little slow. Oh man, that's so stinking cute. I really wanna pick that up, but it's got a little bit of damage. Oh my God, what is that terrible noise? Well, how about this guy? He's definitely got some age to him. He is phenomenal. That, um, that looks like a Japan sticker. And he's got a chenille bug. He's only $5. I am definitely gonna go ahead and grab this guy. I also just noticed this adorable little poodle dish. Oh boy, that is too cute. German, $5. And then of course they got the 25% off. I'm gonna grab this too. All right, what is this peanut dish thing? <laughs> That's kind of spectacular. I don't think that has much resale value though. Well, this nook over here definitely has my attention. I cannot ignore all this glass. Oh my gosh, I'm sure it's expensive. Yeah, 49. Ellie Smith, 52. I love these slag glass ashtrays. So freaking cool, but very, very, very expensive. Couldn't help but notice 
this striped poodle that is another japan one fifi the park avenue poodle it's in like great condition again five dollars and 25 percent off i'm gonna go ahead and throw that into my basket well i am super excited about this i just picked up this flocked reindeer i love his eyes he is adorable five dollars and his flocking is in great condition which is a pleasant surprise all right i finally found an aisle it looks like i have all to myself a lot of newer stuff but this caught my eye what's this little shelf sitter that is definitely an older one this is definitely japan four dollars i'm not sure what he's supposed to be sitting on i'm not sure how i feel about the base of that yeah it's a little sticky we can't do sticky lots of halloween stuff over here definitely looks like a more contemporary selection blow mold it's probably expensive how much is it 65 yeah lots of random stuff packed in here which is kind of my favorite like this random beaded zebra that's kind of funny how much is this? $13. Oh, that's that's too much for me. Ooh, got a dream pets in here. Those have not been selling well for me. How much is this one? 10 bucks, yeah. And one of these left in hand planters. I think those are so pretty. 25 firm. That's about what I get for that after fees. I am all kinds of turned around. This Rubens little pilgrim girl uh, most of the other stuff looks new did I already go down this aisle I'm so turned around I don't even know yeah I did okay oh my god I was standing here spaced out and I realized <laughs> that this was sitting here screamed it's okay everyone else is screaming in here oh my gosh eight dollars that's insane it's missing it's uh little ones but i do not care these sell for a lot of money this is i mean this is i'm not gonna say it's the find of the day because i found some really great deals but this is everything and it's got the paint all there it's r and art red bow tie. I love it, love it, love it. This is like as kitsch as it gets. Well, just when you think it couldn't get better, I just realized it says 50% off, so it's only $4. After I saw the 50% off sign, I definitely went back to look again just to make sure there was nothing else hiding in here. That is so crazy. It's like the only old thing in here too. Everything else is new. Man, what are the odds? See, that's why I love these... Uh, these crafty booths, you just never know. I literally just said that too, that's so funny. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't, oh my gosh, that got me. Made in China. Damn, I was gonna say, sorry, I don't mean to curse. I try not to curse on this, but that was curse worthy. That is, uh, that's crazy. I've never seen a reproduction of these. The original ones sell for like, you know, at least 150 bucks. That's insane. Huh. I'm gonna look this up. I'm just so curious. How much do they want for this? Okay, so here's the deal. Uh, they sell online around 35 bucks. This one is $9.23 and 15% off. I'm actually almost considering getting it because I feel like it will be a quick flip. You know, that's kind of like sacrilegious for me to buy Repop, but I think I might just go ahead and throw this in my uh, basket just just because. I never do things like this, but for $7 and some change, I feel like it will be a quick flip. What's this fabulous thing? That is cool. Hmm. It's like a decanter. That's very cool. Ooh, 
I see one of my favorite types of spaghetti poodle with glasses and rhinestones. $10. Is it broken? Nope. Plus 15%. Don't mind if I do. And what about this one? This one's only $5. Is it broken? Yeah, that's glass. It's glasses are broken. I'm gonna leave that behind. There was something else I was looking at over here. I don't even, oh, here it is. This guy's pretty great. For uh, $6, I'm gonna grab that too. I'm gonna check out these little ornaments right quick and make sure there's nothing spectacular hiding in here. I always look out for the little bug ones. He's pretty great. How much is he? 15, that's a little bit pricier than I thought it was gonna be. Well, Elf is 12. Hmm, they seem to like their ornaments. What's this big eye dog? He's kind of scary looking. <laughs> $10. Is there a discount too? No, he's, he's actually kind of creeping me out. I'm gonna put him back. What's happening with these little dolls back here? Looks like strawberry shortcake. And then that's cute, but it's that weird texture of plastic. I don't know why that bothers me so much. What is this? I made a mess. Oh, I got too much going on. Wait, look at this funny hat. Aruba with the palm. That is so freaking funny. Does it have any stains? I think I'm gonna get this for myself. <laughs> I kinda love it. I kinda knock on these cause I got a lady in the tramp one and it didn't sell for that much and it took a really long time, but I love the little Donald Duck. Now that I'm seeing the light though, 425, that's a great price. I would pick it up if it was uh, not as stained as it is. All right, I'm back in that booth where I got the reindeer. They were uh, rearranging things. $4.50, that's one of the plastic ones. What about this reindeer? That one's 12. This is pretty cute. Mm, here's another celluloid reindeer. That one's six. That's not a bad price at all. It's not as spectacular as the one I found. I'm not sure why mine was five. I might look at it again when I get to a different light. All right, I'm gonna keep going here. Yeah, now that I'm in this light, I think I am gonna look at this reindeer again because I'm con concerned that it's only $5 because there's something wrong with it. Oh, it looks good to me. All right, moving on.